Gemini, welcome to your reading. I hope you enjoyed this speed shuffle. Let's jump in here and look at what we have for the overall energy. We have Crystal Cave. Your person has a very strong sense of trust towards your Gemini. It's really beautiful. Pegasus, look at this beautiful energy. They feel as though you are such a beautiful, safe person. They feel like you're pure, that you're a good human being, transcending. They feel as though when they met you, that they're having an experience like no other experience I've ever had. They don't feel like you have an agenda with them. They feel as though your agenda is to live in the moment in a very pure vibration. That's how you per are perceived by them. Mystic Meadow Sanctuary. You are this person's safe place. They feel as though there is something that happens when they're with you that they don't quite understand and that's never happened before. The overall energy that they're bringing in to the reading in terms of their inner self is one of deep wounding and healing. They really work very hard not to let you see this. Your person is a very powerful manifester. Your person is a very powerful, uh, they're very powerful in their life. When we get the King of Pentacles energy, the energy that they bring everywhere they go is to create value. They have the tools to heal. They have all the tools that they need to heal and to manifest this new person or the old version of themselves before they were in they were hurt very badly or wounded very badly they want to bring their best self to the table with you gemini so that is the energy that they're bringing in they think the world of you they feel as though the relationship with you transcends all thoughts all beliefs that they had before their relationship with you they see you as dancing on top of the world they could be your person could be from another country a different culture a different ethnicity but they see you as having it all they see you as the most elevated person they've ever met spiritually in terms of your kindness the Ten of Swords does speak along with the Four of Swords to this wounded warrior energy that they have brought, that they're in right now. This is not about you, though. They see you as their happy place. They see you as the sanctuary, as the absolute um, energy of being able to transcend the sadness that they've had I feel as though this person's been sad for a very long time. I feel as though they were treated very badly, possibly in a marriage or a relationship in which they really gave their all. Um, they feel beaten down. But when, when they are with you, they think, wow, you know, the worst is over. The Ten of Swords is a good card because it says that this person's back on their feet. They're walking towards their happiness into the sun. They've picked themselves up and look at their walking towards you, Gemini. They're walking towards our happiness. They feel as though you have helped lift them from a very dark period of time in their life. In their heart space, they love you. They feel as though you remind them of somebody from the past. They may have known you for a lifetime, but they may have known you in another life. This is Scorpio energy. This is transcendent energy. They want to grow old with you. They feel loyal to you. They feel like they can be vulnerable with you. They can be playful with you. In their heart space, there is an incredible amount of love, affection, companionship, and loyalty. <clears throat> when they feel lonely, and they feel lonely a lot because of this other healing that they're going through, when they come to you, when they come to your home to visit, it's like, honey, I'm home. Please embrace me like you're somebody. I'm somebody that you love, Gemini. Please embrace me because I embrace you. So when they come to you, they felt as though when they met you, that there was a door that was locked to their heart and you opened it. That key, that transformation, when we get the card of trusting you, the crystal cave, you are 
you are so powerfully their safe space and they are transcending through the sanctuary of love that you've given them. Whatever the relationship is, whether it's new or old, they feel this amazing feeling with you that they've never felt before. The energy of, in terms of their intentions, they are going to hold back. This person is probably not as consistent as you would like them to be. Their feeling is, is that they want to get to know you. I feel this person works a lot because we have the magician and the king of pentacles. They make magical money. <laughs> so I think that they're a creative person. I feel as though what, whatever they do in terms of their work is something in which they are uniquely capable of providing. They want to get to know you, get to know all about you. They are invested in the relationship, but they are holding back on commitment at this time because they are feeling still very self-protective, very much in this energy that they need to take plenty of time to build the trust, to make sure that it isn't going to go away suddenly. I feel as though in their life they've had something that happened to them early in life where the rug was pulled out from underneath them. The energy that they have in terms of their actions, look at this. They see you as their happy place. The Nine of Cups, one more cup, and it's a Ten of Cups, happily ever after. We see the Temperance card. This person feels that you are a guardian angel. They want to make everything work with you. They will go the distance to please you. They will go the distance to try to make things work. They have fire in their belly. So their actions are to enjoy a very high level of passion, happiness, joy, laughter, very much dedicated to you. This is not a relationship where this person wants to go anywhere else. So even though we have them in this Knight of Wands energy, my feeling is, is that they may travel around a lot in their car for work or their truck. They might be someone who um, you know, make service calls uh, for people in their homes or they travel from business to business all day long every day. In their heart space, this person does not look like they're cut out to be a player. I would say they're way too, too much in the energy of wanting to heal. But I feel as though this in and out energy has to do a lot more with their profession, that they don't have a lot of time. I do think that they spend a lot of time working. When we see the energy of their actions towards you, this is a timeless reading, so if it resonates, it's yours. But it also shows that your person's very reluctant to invest in a marriage. That right now, their actions towards you will be all about developing this relationship. This person would be a person who would probably date someone for at least four to six years before, before marriage. I almost cringe to say that. Now, for others of you, it, much, it might be much shorter. It could be a year. It could be a year and a half. But especially for those of you who are dating somebody who has already been married, who's already had their children, I feel as though the energy and the the what they bring to the table in terms of their actions are to give everything, however, holding back on the concept of marriage. They're not sure... It has nothing to do with you. They just don't know if they believe in what marriage has to promise. So let's go ahead and clarify this beautiful energy. Today, I'm going to use the Heaven and Earth Tarot for the clarification, Gemini. It's such a divine reading here. This information that we have here about how they feel about you is very touching. It touches my heart. I am a Gemini. So let's see what we have here, the trust. Why do they trust their Gemini so much? What is it about you, Gemini? Oh, look at this, the lover's card. Is that not the most beautiful energy? They feel as though you both lift each other, that you both choose each other, that both of you are very consistent, that you both choose each other every day, no matter what's going on. The two of you have chosen one another to have your love with. We have to clarify the transformation card. We have 
the earth power. We see it, the king of pentacles. I always love it when we use two decks and we start to get two energies. Your person has been to hell and back. They are so strong. They are so willing to do the work. We see this. And here we have it again, the chariot card. And the chariot card is saying like, honey, I'm home. I'm headed your way. And they see you as a sanctuary. And that noise, ladies and gentlemen, is brought to you by the local street cleaners of the city of Chicago. <laughs> so sorry about that. But we see this beautiful sanctuary. They rush to see you whenever they can. Gemini, it's just, it's just, I love the energy. It's just very sweet, very kind, very loving. They're really showing you by their actions how they feel about you. Why are they so wounded here? Why is the Four of Swords here? The oh, despair and cruelty. Your person has really been through it. Your person has been treated in very cruel ways by people that they trusted once upon a time. They're up in their head. They lose sleep sometimes. I think they have nightmares at times. Why is the Magician card here clarifying their woundedness? Look at that, the World card. The World card, they think of you as their healer. When we look at the Magician card, Gemini, you are the Magician, okay? You are the Magician. You and Virgo are the Magician. So when we see this energy of the World card, you are helping them put a cycle of pain behind them. They do think the world of you. They feel as though they can manifest everything with you. They feel as though there's a whole new life ahead possibly with you. And so when they look at you, they just find you pretty magical in your own right. The King of Pentacles, why is it here? The devil energy. So they have really found a way, one of the ways that they heal themselves is not necessarily the best way, but they have a tendency with the devil energy that whatever it is, whoever this person is that hurt them, they find solace and healing in working too much. But the, you know, the devil card says it's not good for this person. So it does speak to the fact that this person has a tendency to become to work on their financial success as a way of trying to make their world right again. Why do we see the world card here for the second time? The king of swords. Your person is a very wise, intelligent, intellectual person, and they know truth when they see it, and they see you as the real deal. They see you as the absolute ultimate truth teller. They don't see themselves as having anything to worry about with you. When we get the Seven of Cups, they thought in the past in their life that they had been successful, but the Seven of Cups says that they had a partner, they had someone in their life that when the truth was told was not someone who was honest, who was not someone who was kind. The person that stabbed them in the back, you know, of course, we all think we're going to have success. But the person that stabbed them in the back was somebody that they had given their heart to. Now they find themselves giving their heart to you, Gemini. The King of Cups energy, that's that transcendental energy. That's the phoenix rising from the ashes. Their heart is reborn again. They've finished one cycle of woundedness with clarity and truth. And they're coming into this beautiful cycle of rebirth and love with you. The Sun card, why is it here? The Ace of Coins. They are making you an offer by through their actions now. I want to tell you that when they think of you, they think of you as their happiness. They see you as that coin. When we look at the arch here, we look at going through this, traveling a journey with you to be with you. They see you as the person who's brought the most happiness into their life. That sun card is clarified by the Ace of Coins. The Ace of Coins is a love offer. So they are thinking about making a serious love offer towards you. Why is the Chariot card here? We have the Strength card. Oh, beautiful Leo energy. This person's very fiery. They're very proud. But this person is one who has a lot of pride, a lot of dignity, 
a lot of loyalty. Your person is very much worthy of your energy. This, you know, rushing to see you. They want to protect you, Gemini. When we look at this, we see Leo the Lion wanting to protect the lady love. So whoever the masculine energy is in the reading, there is a very strong and fierce bond between you that cannot be parted by anyone. Nobody can come between the two of you. The five of coins, your person in their heart space feels lonely sometimes. You did help to heal that loneliness, but what is this about? Look at that. Oh my God, I just said healing, right? And the star card is literally the card of healing. The magician card is also Magus, the doctor, the magician, because back in the days when Tarot was first, you know, created, people didn't understand that doctors knew science. So they thought whenever anyone was healed, that it was magic. But look at this. You have healed their heart. You have brought love and beauty and sensitivity and creativity. You've created this beautiful starry night and world that they had not known before. You fill a space in their heart, and this is the center of the heart space in the reading. You are the rock star in love. They are dedicated to you. They are fiercely loyal to you. We see this beautiful Scorpio energy wanting to grow old with you. And we have this flipped over. Material happiness. Look at this. Nine of Cups energy. So we saw this earlier too. So the Nine of Cups, you are again their happy place with that sun card under there. And what's happened in the past is that you've brought back you've helped recreate they've returned to a period of loving and happiness and joyfulness after a period of loss after a period of um really feeling like life didn't have the best for them and you come in as a double sun energy again once again the two brightest stars in the zodiac the star and the sun card so your person has fire in their belly for you that leo energy is off the charts a lot of again they have a lot of pride they consider you part of their family you are officially, unofficially part of their family in their heart space. The Fool card, they want a new beginning with you. They don't want to continue this feeling of open-endedness in the relationship. Your person wants a victory with you. Leo energy again. We have the Empress card. They see you as their Empress, as their, you know, when we look at the Strength card, they have courage, they have fire in their belly. They want to go through many lives with you. That's the infinity symbol, the number eight, the Empress. Here you are. You embody everything beautiful to them. You know, in terms of their intention, they're giving up this idea that they're going to be in and out with you. When we clarify the cards, we see them feeling very excited, very happy, coming to see you often. The Fool card with that beautiful Six of Wands. Again, it's almost like, honey, I'm home. And now they see you recognizing they feel that you are recognizing in your heart space their intention to claim a victory in love with you, to own their feelings for you, to share with you a very, very intense love relationship. The Four of Coins is clarified by harmonious change. They feel like they can balance life with you. They don't have to hold back, Gemini. The, oops, <laughs> we have the wealth card. Oh, look at this. Your person feels that they can manifest everything with you. The Ten of Coins is a legacy marriage. All right, so it's a legacy in which there's wealth, there's abundance, there's happiness, there's joy. There's two people working together to create something beautiful. And that is their intention. So their intentions are amazing. Their actions towards you, Princess of Pentacles, making an offer. They're a little bit guarded. They don't know what you're going to say. Um, we also see the Judgment card. 
they are not, the judgment is reversed, so they have made a partial decision, but they haven't made, the judgment upright will come when you say yes to them. So they're putting it out there, they're asking you to make a decision about how invested you are. They want things to work out, so these are their actions. We get the maternal, maternal gain, so the Nine of Pentacles going from being a single person to working out the details of being in partnership with you, Gemini. Why is the Nine of Cups here? We've had it twice now. Why is the Nine of Cups here? The Queen of Pentacles. So the Queen of Pentacles and the King of Pentacles. You know, when we look at Taurus energy of the King of Pentacles and the Empress and the Queen of Pentacles, which is the business of creating abundance, which is Capricorn, they see you as their divine partner. Tell us why. Clarify the Hierophant reverse. The two of you might be very, very free thinkers. This, uh, when we have the Hierophant upright, it means that you're very traditional. But look at this, abundance, three of cups. They feel as though you are their best friend. They feel as though you celebrate life together, you walk through life together, that the two of you are fully capable of having everything you need, the wheel of fortune. So the way I'm reading this, and I want to clarify that I don't think this is what, what they like about you, what they like about the relationship is the fact that you guys, the two of you, you guys, however that resonates, <laughs> guys, gals, whatever combination, but they feel as though they have been burned by traditional religion. Maybe they married somebody they felt they had to marry. Maybe their religious or their familial beliefs caused what they consider a certain amount of harm to them. They are moving past that with you. They are celebrating life with you and the wheel of fortune. They feel so lucky to have you in their life. So I see that the two of you could have, you can go the distance here. Gemini, what a beautiful reading. Please, sending you love from Chicago. Send some back. Tell me where you're from and please give, tell me what you think about the reading. Does it resonate? Do you like the format? Thank you. Bye-bye.